uh, though a member of SIDM, uh, I should say that we are looking into defense related opportunities. We are not into defense manufacturing as yet. Now, as, would, as the opening slide says, as an SME who has created a technology in India, being recognized by the government of India with an innovation award, uh, you know, innovation funding from uh, DIFAC and uh, under one of their programs. And having created a technology that is relevant to defense, we are not into defense. Now, this is a statement that states that we are an outsider looking at defense opportunities, but finding opportunities outside of defense for a defense-oriented technology. So I'll start with that as the premise. So you would have had a lot of uh, viewpoints that are very defense-oriented. So my talk is going to be largely from an outside perspective. So I start by saying whether it's a myth or the reality that SMEs can be a driving force in uh, defense manufacturing. And uh, this is the perception that I've had that SMEs, we've been testing and looking for opportunities within their defense area. And what we've seen is that uh, mostly we're regarded as a small company capable of supplying components and subsystems. But very few really believe that an MSME or a small company can actually come up with a technology that is globally relevant. And for majority of the MSMEs who are outside the defense sector, because when you're talking about the relevance of MSMEs in defense and MSMEs coming into defense, we should also look, understand the fact that many of the MSMEs are successful in many ways outside the defense sector. And those are the MSMEs we are talking about getting, in, getting them in. So how does it look for somebody outside to be looking into the defense sector? So in the defense, MSMEs looking into the defense sector for opportunities with the Make in India initiative are strong, nimble companies which have succeeded outside which have been competitive in an outside civilian market and have been able to service customer requirements in the outside. So this is something that needs to be looked at. And also the fact that new age technologies, many of the MSMEs, new age, you know, horizon or emerging technologies, there are MSMEs doing that as well in the areas of IoT, in the areas of UAVs and various other. Now to give you a brief idea, now we are taking our company as a case study. We have made an innovative made in India UAV technology that is evaluated and recognized by the Department of Science and Technology and Government of India and we have got innovation funding from the government. And if you see that it clearly says indigenous develop, develop, development of unmanned aerial vehicle technologies. And we've also got it patented both in applied for patent in India as well as applied for PCG uh, globally. And we came up with very little objections really when we applied for the PCG, maybe one or two, but still it was published. So it was a very new, emerging, new age technology that we have created. And this has been proven. And when anybody talks of UAV, Immediately what comes to mind is a picture of a defense drone. Maybe today it's changed a bit to show the white Chinese drone in marriages, but the first picture that mostly comes is the defense drone. And with this technology, you'll be, you know, it is heartening to know that civilian companies in the area of agriculture, in the area of GIS, in the area of automobiles, in the area of machine manufacturing, are looking at using our UAV technology for their purposes 
that includes even MNCs like John Deere and local companies like Mahindra and Tate in various areas which I'll come to later. But the aerospace and the defense sector has not really you know, been willing to look at our technology from the perspective of using it in the UAE space. 